Thank Thanks, you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, everybody. Yeah.
Okay, you just saw Christian Death here on Media Blitz. And, um, Ross, why don't you introduce wow. the rest of the band here? This is Constance, bass, Deton, keyboards, Valor, guitar, and David, drums. Okay. And uh, what were those songs that you just did? Cavity and Romeo's Distress. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> who writes your uh, most of your stuff? <laughs> no, I have no idea. Well, right now, um, Roz writes all lyrics, and um, we just kind of are putting together some new material at the moment. Uh -huh. with everybody basically writing. Valor writes a lot. Comes from God. <laughs> God, it doesn't. <laughs> what does a band write about? Amp, electric bass and amp, five-piece drum set and keyboard. Or get the sound of a band with a new Schaefer & Sons organ with state-of-the-art teaching system. Decadence, love, hate, war, peace. What's, is there any type of uh, main concept behind Christian death? Sex, especially. <laughs> especially, yeah. <laughs> what, what kind of, uh, are you going for a certain type of image or anything? A very sexual image. Sex, especially. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one track mine's here. Um, what is the band um, doing as far as uh, your, your plans to go on from here? From here. From, from America. Sure. We're going to London to record an album. Well, actually, we're going to we're going to play San Francisco and New York on the way. But when we get to London, we're <laughs> along the way. Along the way. So we're going to record an album in Wales. It's at the same studio that Bauhaus and that kind of bunny and bands like that did it. It's a good sound, you know. So it's nice out on the farm and Wales is beautiful. So. Mm -hmm. We're just going to milk cows and <laughs> eat you, grass and do you have like sex. That, that sound, <laughs> <laughs> the, the Bauhaus type uh, sound and everything. I don't know. I don't even. I think I've ever heard maybe a couple of songs of of Bauhaus and Echo and the Bunnymen. But from what I heard, it sounded pretty good. And and the record company thinks that the studio is going to be able to give us the sound that we want. Mm -hmm. So they just better be right. <laughs> Well, um, why are you going over to, uh, to Europe? So that we can play. Because so we can't we survive here. Right. Really? <laughs> you can't, can't survive here. You play once a month. We have to play every night or else we'll go crazy. Yeah. Now, there's a lot more places. You don't have to travel a thousand miles to do a show. You can travel 50 miles and you know, do a show yeah, every right. night. Mm -hmm. you know? Our new company is located in France and he wants us to record in England. So that's the main reason for going out there. And, and while we're there, we might as well, you know, you play tell around. Them, Dave. Yeah. I'm telling them, Val. <laughs> <laughs> we're going there and playing. <laughs> Do you think that, I mean, has um, how's the European market been so far? I mean, is there any reason to expect more success um, over there, maybe? We already have more success yes. over there. They've been a lot more open to what Christian Das has been about and what Roz is saying. And I think that they'll be a lot more open to what we're doing now. Uh -huh. As far as, you know, the directions that we're taking it. Do, do you have any, I mean, any, any reasons why? I mean, is it just the American market won't look at anything unless it's too mainstream or...? Mm. No, that's not true. Um, we, have a, we have a market here, I think, but... Yeah. It's just that the changes, it's just people catch on at different times. Also, that market is one that we haven't explored as far as going there and playing live, you know, and actually getting in front of their audiences out there. And we're pretty, you know, confident about doing that and their reactions and what they're going to be like as far as, you know, liking us or disliking us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um... Good luck on your <laughs> on your future plans, and uh, thanks for coming down doing the show. And um, next on Media Blitz, we'll have uh, Flipside doing the record reviews. And he asked absolutely no good questions. <laughs>